guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i will be talking about how i climbed the ladder corporate ladder as a black woman so make sure you stick around and watch the entire video if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like share and comment on this video okay let's get started life is from the young as I can remember I always was telling myself I want to make six figures by 25 why I thought that I think it's stupid now I don't think it really even matters I think I felt like it was so important to make six figures by 25 because that's what society puts out in there now I did end up reaching that goal started at Yale a lot of you know that the first job I had straight out of college was um, I worked in an immunology office with a nurse educator, a public health professional, dealing with the Connecticut State Department of Public Health and all that nature, blah, 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 irrelevant. I can't remember how much I was making, but I knew it wasn't what I wanted to make initially fresh out of school. I really wanted to make at least $60,000 in my first job. And I kind of took that role as a stepping stone and I was still a pharmacy technician at Milford Hospital at the time. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do both in tandem, which equates to what I really want. But I would love to only have one job that pays me that amount of money so throughout my entire time at Yale they were asking me to apply for like a longer stay because my full-time role was only for a certain amount of time and I knew I told myself I was like I hate this job I hate it I don't want to be here so I was miserable I hated my co-workers they didn't like me for no reason whatsoever uh, there's a video that talks about that I'll put it right here but yeah so I was working at Yale and I really wanted to find a different job so I was applying different jobs and that's when I ended up getting picked up by Pfizer when I spoke to the, the recruiter at Pfizer I didn't lie but I was I told him that the current job as in one job that I made that I work for at that moment paid me X amount of dollars but I said they paid me $70,000 at this job and he was like oh 70,000 is too high we can't make that I wasn't making $70,000 at that job but my combined salary with like all the jobs I was doing including like helping people with their resumes all these different things it equated to the number that I wanted so I ended up just negotiating back and forth and they ended up paying me exactly what I wanted I quit all those other jobs and focused on my job at Pfizer. At Pfizer, I made sure to work with specific people who I know could help me get up the ladder. So I took on certain projects that people didn't want to take. I, when the the lead of our team went on vacation, I asked her if I could fill in for her to be the lead for the team when she was away. So I always was trying to grab at more opportunities without telling people what my end goal was. And one thing that I always do is I'm planning for my next step in, while in my current positions. And I never, ever, ever tell my coworkers I never tell my boss, I never tell anybody because you never know how that's going to bite you in the end. So I was applying for my master's program actually in California and I was working in Connecticut at the time and I was not going to tell them at all. While I was in that job, I was applying to jobs in California in regulatory affairs as well as my master's program. So when it came about two weeks before I was ready to move, I told them that I was going back to school and quitting and that was that. And that's part one. Make sure you come back later this week to watch part two on my story of climbing the corporate ladder. Until next time guys. Bye.